Hi guys, I'm doing my March favorites video today. I have quite a few new products that I've been loving for the month of March and also a few Odie with goodies that I'm um, bringing back into the mix. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. The first item is this IT Cosmetics airbrush illuminizer it is a gorgeous product you know i have a thing for highlighting products and at first i was skeptical because a lot of the reviews on qvc said it was like really metallic but i think it's metallic only if you use too much of the product so straight out of the container it looks like that and it's just beautiful you need to use a very light hand with this so usually whatever is in the cap that's what i use and i use it with this brush it is i don't know what the name of this brush is i think it's called like a tulip brush or something like that it's um it's so soft oh my gosh it's just a gorgeous brush and it's um very dense but i think it's synthetic and it's just really pretty just swirl it around in the top and then place it on the high planes of my cheeks and down the center of my forehead anywhere that you want to highlight so I just love these two products together the brush is free when you get it from QVC but normally an Ulta thing this is like a $52 brush so this is a good combination and price for the product so it's like $39.95 or something like that plus sugar and handling I'll put a link in the information box below since we're talking about brushes this is my second um, brush of the month that I've loved and I've really been using a lot for March and this is the Delium Tools 765 brush I don't know if I mentioned this brush before but it's just a gorgeous it's an angled brush and um, it's small so it's smaller than a 217 because I don't have a lot of space in my outer V so this is perfect for packing in the color and blending it out so I really love that I cannot believe it's taking me so long to jump on a bandwagon with this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer this is amazing I love the consistency of it this is an NW40 because I use it under my eye and well, I use it under my eyes as my under eye concealer and this is amazing I really love it as you can see I've used a whole lot of it <laughs> in March I got it in February but um I just love the consistency of it a little bit goes a lo very long way but it's kind of tricky with the pump It's a learning curve because if you press too hard way too much product comes out and a little bit of this goes a long way so basically a half a pump can do both of your under eye areas and I really like this product a lot I think this is going to replace my select cover um, concealer by Mac and I love how it is really it does stay all day long and no creasing because when you're applying it it dries down to like a tacky finish so um, then I layer a little bit of my Dream Lumi underneath on top of that to, you know, brighten my eyes even further. So I really love this product. So it's a big, like, A++ face product that I've been loving is this Inklot YSM foundation. I am going to do a review on it, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But this is the color, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it's 54. And this is the darkest shade they have. I have both yellow and red tones in my skin so I have to mix it even though this is more of a yellow base I mix it with the Dream Lumi foundation by L'Oreal in their darkest color and I think this is in I'm not sure what color this is in oh this is in color C78 nut brown cocoa so these two together I love and this one it's just amazing. I love the consistency of it. But look out for a review on this foundation coming up soon. It is my NARS Galapagos eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is gorgeous. It's, I mean, if you've been looking at my videos for a while, you know I love this. And I haven't used it in a very long time. But I've used it almost every day for the month of March. Just a gorgeous um, brown color. And it has gold reflex in it but the shimmer doesn't fall out and it's not very noticeable to the eye when it's on your eye so that's a swatch of that it's just a really gorgeous brown love it i have it on today so hopefully you can see that in my outer v the next item i want to talk about is the dolce and gabbana blush and tan and this blush is gorgeous 
but I don't use it as a blush. I use it as a transition color for my eyeshadow. So I have that on as well, and it's a gorgeous tan color. It would be good on anyone that's um, not of a deeper skin tone. It's like a grayish brown, so even like lighter skin tones, or if you have Caucasian skin, you can easily use this as a contour, but I just love it as a transition color, and I'm a sucker for packaging. Oh my god, this packaging is gorgeous. This beauty item that I've loved, and I have it on my nails today, is Orly's Porcelain. I had this on my toes all for the whole month of March. I mean, I can't stop wearing it, so I've, um... It's been a definitely favorite for the month of March. It's just a gorgeous, like, grayish purple pink I, I mean it's more like a purple pink color and it's just pretty like if you don't like Essie's Fuji I would highly suggest trying this color out because it's really pretty I love it I mean it's not too white and it's not too pink it's like right in the middle so if you like light if you like white nails but then you don't think you can pull it off I think this is an easy color that you know you could try and I think it'd be it's perfect for spring. This is my last beauty product. Okay, so I used to use this all the time, and then I was like, I don't want to pay twenty dollars for it. It's the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. This smells really good. I tried the ginger. I think it's ginger something from Ulta, and I like it, but it's just the smell. I didn't like it after a while. The more I used it, and then so I was like, I'm just coming back to this. I just love this product. It's twenty dollars at Sephora, and it smells amazing i love it it's kind of strong maybe strong for some people but it pairs really well with the perfumes that i wear those are the last of the beauty products that i've enjoyed for the month of march the non-beauty product that i really love is the cliff bars and this one is in coconut and chocolate chip and you guys this is amazing this is an energy bar I eat it for lunch as a replacement meal, and you guys, it is so good. I used to not like Cliff Bars, but this one tastes really good. I don't know if they changed their formulation of it, but they're organic, and they smell, they're just so yummy, yummy, yummy. So I really love these, eating these for my lunch in the month of March. Then my last item is my Kuba handbag. This is a handbag that I've been carrying all month long, and it's just a beautiful bag. I've had it for years, and it has hardly no wear and tear on it. It's purple and I love the detailing on it right here on both sides. It just it's just amazing. And even when you're wearing it with the flap facing you to your body, the back still has a gorgeous detailing here. I love all the gold hardware. It actually is kind of heavy with all my stuff in it. But um this is what it looks like on the inside and it has pockets like this outer pocket that I have mints in you know i like those they've been featured in a monthly favorite before and then like can even fit my huge makeup bag in there and my wallet so um i just really really love this bag i've carried it all month of march and like every time i start carrying it i realize why i like it so it's just easy breezy bag everyday work bag for me so I've loved carrying it for the month of March. I'm really trying to rotate my bags more. So I probably will rotate it out and have a different bag to share for you the, for the month of April. So those are my favorites for the month of March. If you have if you do these videos, I would love to see a video response because I love making these and watching these videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. And talk to you later. Bye.